What's up you guys? Welcome back for another video. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Lanasia, but I go by Mena West. Don't forget to subscribe and turn my post notifications on so you don't miss a video. So in today's video, we are doing an unboxing and detailed install video with, with Asteria Care. So they shipped it via DHL, so I'm just opening it down here, but I want you guys to see like what type of address or nothing like that. You guys should be familiar with this brand on my channel. I have a few videos with them, so I will leave those. I'll leave the link to those videos in the description bar below. Let's go ahead and open up this bag and see what we have today. I'm gonna step back a little bit, guys. I'm gonna pull up the camera. We got some goodies, guys. So we got some lashes, of course. Y'all know we're gonna wear those. I got a headband, an elastic band. This one's a little bit wider, so I like that. I got a cute little lavender um, edge brush. We got some wig caps, of course. I'm so happy I was able to get another one of these because I definitely lost my first one. I do not know where it's, it where it went, so I'm happy I got another one of these. And it straps on in the back. And then we also have this cute little manual. Um, it gives you some information, what kind of combs to use, how to maintenance it. Um, how to wash the hair it is so detailed so this is their body wave um and this is a 22 inch this is a 13 by 4 um it is an hd lace and it is 180 percent density um and this cap size is small so they do have other cap size um depending on your um head so if you have a medium a large um they do have options for that and honestly i would definitely say go with your cap size because that is going to make your wig fit perfectly me personally i get all my wigs in small but i do have some wigs that are medium and they are like really big like the back is just like flapping so definitely get your wig size and you guys already know they package they they hair so securely so you got a hair neck and look at this body weight look The lace I love Asteria laces like their laces when they say their laces are HD their laces are HD so I'm gonna give you guys a closer look so you guys can see and again you do get a full lace so you don't get a partial 13 by 4 you get a full 13 by 4 I am now going in with my concealer and I'm just going to apply that all over my stocking cap until I get something like this um, and that is how you want your stocking cap to look. I did go ahead and bleach and pluck my knots off camera and this is what my wig is looking like. I plucked it to my liking and it looks really good to me. Um, now I am going in with my lace tint. I use two shades. I use a light and then I use a medium and it gives me my perfect shade. I like to use my blending brush to apply the lace tint just so that I can make sure it's all there and then of course I dry it. Again guys, I did pluck my knots off camera and this is how much hair came out. Okay, now I am just slicking it my hair back with my hot comb just to make sure everything is nice and flat and seamless so that that way when I go in and I start customizing my wig to my size, I have no issues. So this is something I did different um i found out that doing this for me personally helps me out because of the shape of my forehead i have like a little egg head so i have to <laughs> make it like go like round in a way i don't know how to explain it but yeah so i just take a little bit of the hair out because if i don't that is going to be too long and low on my forehead and it's not going to look right so do not be afraid to cut some of that excess hair off I am doing the same thing with my sides. I am just going in and parting where I need to cut off right before my ear. I just part a section 
um, right above my ear so that that way it could fit perfectly and not bother my ear. And once I do that, it comes out like this and it'll fit to my liking. So you guys can see right there if it's perfectly snug, no problem. And then I go ahead and do the same thing with the other side. I just part out the extra lace right above my ear and I just cut that off. Now we're going to do the same thing that we did to our forehead area on the side. So we're just going to part out where that extra lace and extra hair is at, part it to where our hairline is at, and then just cut that excess lace off. And I do cut in like a zigzag type of motions just so that way it does not look like just a straight line going across. Okay. Once I'm done customizing and cutting it to my head shape and my hairline shape, you guys can see that the wig looks and fits perfectly. So now I go in with my lace glue and I apply that all over. Okay. Now when applying your lace, you do want to stretch it because if you don't stretch it, it kind of leaves like these wrinkled up lines on your hair after you, you're done and it's a headache to get those like wrinkle curls out once you have your lace glued down. So always pull and stretch. Don't rip it, but always pull and stretch your lace so that that way you can avoid having those little crinkly curled up lines on your lace and it always shows up on the forehead area so definitely do not be afraid to pull your lace down a little bit so in today's video we are doing a deep side part I really don't do side parts on my channel for real, honestly. I just feel like side parts aren't my thing. Everyone else likes them on me, but I really don't care for it. But that's not the point. Do you guys see this lace? Like that looks like scalp. Like I love that. And this is a 13 by four, by the way. So you will be able to achieve a deep side part look with this lace. Okay. So guys, this step right here is pretty much repetitive. I am just going in with my wax stick, a little bit of spritz, and I'm just looking that down with my hot comb just to get a flat, seamless install look. Now guys, I am just going in with my tweezers and I am just plucking my baby hairs in the front a little bit just so it can look a little bit more natural. Then once I'm done doing that, I do go in with my little mini curling iron and I just curl my baby hairs just so that that way they could, you know, flow better when I do them. And I do like to apply mousse when I do my baby hairs. I feel like it helps it stay firm and in place. So guys, I did want to maintain the body wave look of this hair, so that's why I went and wrapped my hair around the curling iron barrel like this. I feel like wrapping the hair around the barrel like this definitely gives you the body wave effect, especially like once the curls drop. Speaking of curls dropping, I could not find my hairpins for anything, 
and I was so upset. So I ended up going in with my um, flexi rods to help maintain my curls. And I just usually keep these in for about 30 minutes to an hour and then I'm good to go for the rest of the day. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look. I am so in love with these curls. I didn't want to cut any layers into this, and I'm so happy I didn't. I love the way it came out, and I love the way it frames my face. I look so pretty, and I'm so happy with the outcome. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, my loves, and I will see you all in my next one.